How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be going over an updated version of the Galaxy uh, Tab 2 7.0. Um, there was a software update that did come out where they did make a couple of changes to how the tablet operates. And so for those of you that are new to it, kind of want to just go over some of the things that have changed just so you are aware um, and you can enjoy using your tablet. Uh, so first thing, um, so down here you used to see a little clock icon and you would tap there and it would bring up your settings and it would show you your Wi-Fi and when you download things and basically they've they've moved that it's no longer down here in the corner it's at the top now so if you take your finger I'm using the stylus to mimic a finger here and you just slide down from the top this actually brings up uh, what's called your notification section so everything that was down in the corner is now up here and you have all these are what are called switches so your Wi-Fi, GPS, your volume, your screen rotation, power save and if you swipe to the left you have even more Bluetooth, blocking mode, driving mode and sync as well as your, your uh, auto and screen brightness and your settings wheel is now up here in the corner so all those options are now at the top and so as well if we do rotate the tablet sideways it's up here okay see that so that's just kind of a new addition that they brought to the tablet um, because I don't know in my opinion I think people would probably tap it over here by accident so there's no worry about that now because it's just like a pull down from the top and um, what they also did was um, they've gotten rid of the screen capture button there was a button right here that would allow you to take a picture of your screen and I'm not really sure where they've put that or maybe they've taken away that feature because um, it is no longer here um, so if I do if I can figure out where that is I'll do another video on that but as, as of right now I don't know if you can still do that um, but that was one of the biggest changes you still have your multitask button um, this actually allows you to bring up um, uh, any apps that are open and actually if you notice that has also changed too let me open that up real quick so I can show you let's just open up words with friends open it and close it and then we'll open up the play store and then we'll close that and then we'll open up Dropbox and then we'll close that so now when you press the multitask button right here it no longer pops up in the corner before it was just a list on the side here so now what you have it actually the list actually goes across the screen and if you're um, in portrait mode which is straight up you'll notice that now it does take up the whole screen and what's cool is obviously um, you have a couple of new options down here okay um, and this middle option here is Google specifically it is your Google now and what Google Now is, uh, it's a new um, service that Google has released where um, you can actually program it um, or actually Google will learn the things that you like and so it'll basically alert you. For example, if there's a favorite sports team that you, that you like, like if you're a Laker fan like myself, um, if you were to search the Lakers, it would actually let you know when the next Laker game is. Or if the game was on, it would actually show you the score okay um, also if you obviously many of you guys drive to work if you ever used your tablet to GPS like directions it would remember those locations especially the ones that you go to a lot and it would even recommend like uh, what, what time to leave um, it'll provide little shortcuts um, we don't use it too much on this tablet so that's why there are no recommendations here but uh, normally let me actually grab my phone and I can show you a better example because that's where I do most of my Google Nowing. So, this is my um, Galaxy S3 here, and the battery is low, it was charging, but for the sake of it, I want to show you. So, let's zoom down here. Let me let's go straight up. Okay. So, on an S3, you actually just hold down your menu button and it will bring up Google Now. And so, as you can see, it's already making recommendations. So, one, 
Um, I Google searched something earlier and it was list of 50 states, so my Google search is still there. Um, now, automatically, what normally will pop up are um, like uh, it's well, excuse me, one is programmed to um, um, already have the, the time of how long it would take to get to my job or to get here. And you can even tap the navigation button and it'll bring up a map and show you what the traffic is like, how long it takes to get there, what route to take, um, as well as uh, Dodgers. So it's letting me know right now the Dodgers uh, played a couple days ago and they lost. I can swipe that away. And then we have um, Clipper game at night, weather. So that's just kind of an example. I don't want to get too wrapped up in that because this video is about the uh, Galaxy Tab, but just to kind of explain what Google Now is, and basically now when you do press, like right now it's trying to give examples, but when you do press the multitask button, which is the button to the left, um, when this comes up, when you press the G, that's what it's launching. It's launching Google Now. Now also, you can just do a regular Google search as well. So it, it kind of serves as many purposes, but it's a shortcut to a Google search and also a shortcut to your Google Now. Um, so again, favorite sports teams. Um, you can also set it to uh, look through your emails and if you have like a, a shipping notification about a package or flight reservations, it, it does a whole lot. Um, more than I can probably explain in this video because I want to keep it simple for you guys. But um, that's what that does. This button right here takes you right to your task manager. And this is very important because um, what I normally do is go down to the RAM manager. And if you tap clear RAM, what it does is it will actually close out some programs that are running in the background. So your tablet will run faster. So that's a great thing to know and use. I use it every day because... A lot of times things are running and you, you're not even aware that they are running, but they're slowing down your device. Okay? So, let's close that out. So again, we tap that button. And now, these apps close the same way they did before. You can just swipe them away, and that's how you close things out. Or you can just tap it, and it will take you right into that app. Okay? Now, what you can also do is you can just tap the trash button and that will close out any of those apps that are running. So maybe you got 10 apps running and you know you stopped looking at one of those apps a long time ago or most of them you just want to just start fresh you don't have to swipe them all away you just tap that trash can and it closes everything out for you. So um, those were really the two big changes that were made with the Samsung update. So we got the, the uh, notification bar now being at the top as well as um, the multitask screen does look different and does allow for some different options expanded functionality there and um, again them taking away the screen capture button which used to let you take a picture of your screen so um, that's about it I wanted to do an update and, and forgive me for not doing this sooner but um, you know, I always try to keep you guys up to date with what's going on. I've been caught up with other videos and reviewing other products, but definitely wanted to make sure we got this out so you guys did understand what changes were made and so you guys can enjoy your tablet and have fun understanding how it works. All right. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HU Tech Videos and check out my new website, hutechvideos.com. I've uh, just kind of remodeled it. It looks a lot nicer. has more tutorials and more helpful links, so make sure you check it out. Take care and have a good one.